Hi everybody, Mike Sterwinski here with Metalogic Design. In this tutorial, I want to take you through Google Analytics, how to set it up, and what exactly it is. Google Analytics is how you can measure how people interact with your website. So this is how we're going to get it set up. First, you're going to go to Google Analytics, and you're going to choose whichever account you have with with Google. This one is for my nonprofit, Addie Joe's Footprints. So you're going to click Start Measuring. I'm going to move myself over. Let's make myself a little smaller. All right, the account name, I'm going to do Addie Joe's Footprints. Here is about data sharing if you want to select those. It's fine. Go to next. Property details. It's going to be the name. So you could do the same thing. Um, or you could put the, the actual URL. So I'll do Addy Joe's Footprints website. Okay, and you want to do your, your time zone. I'm in Chicago. Um, advanced options. This is going to be going away soon. So you really don't even really need to worry about it anymore. This is the old version, it's Universal Analytics. They're switching everything to G4. But if you wanna add that for the next few months, you can. The website URL is addiejoesfootprints.org. So you could say create both Google Analytics and Universal, uh, enhanced measurement, or if you just want the Universal one, which it's gonna be going away, so don't worry about that. Hit next. But then you get to talk about what your business is. So we are just a small uh, nonprofit in how you want Google to uh, measure it. So engagement on your site, optimize it, measure it against different platforms, um, sales, app installs, lead generation, other, uh, that's fine. So create the ones that best fit your business create. You have to accept all their terms and conditions. Here and here. I accept. And then it has all the information that you need. Okay, so you have your your stream ID, your measurement ID, which you're going to need. So we can go ahead and copy that. Um, so on and so forth. I don't have the tag set up on this yet, so um, that's why it's going to say it's not it's not uh, showing any data. So migrate, yes, you can migrate that already because it's going to be stopping Universal. It's going to G4. Yes, email communications. I don't like any emails. I get flooded with emails, so I'm just going to unselect all that. And then here is your account. Okay, so if you go up here, you'll see it has both. It has my uh, universal, which is UA, and then it has G4. If you go home, there it is. So here's my measurements ID. Um, I have another video that I already started regarding Google Tag Manager and what it is, but I'm going to keep on going. So. Now that I have my measurement ID, I'm going to go into my tag manager that I created. I don't have any tags yet. Okay, so when you go into Google Tag Manager, you're going to create a tag. Add new. This one is for um, Google Analytics. G4, tag configuration, G4, you have analytics, G4, and event. Okay, so we're gonna just, we wanna install it just for G4 for right now. Measurement ID, this is where you're gonna paste your measurement ID. And then you're gonna tell Google, where do I want, which pages do I want uh, to track? So you go down to trigger, and you're gonna hit all pages. Save. And now that's set up. And then you're going to hit submit. 
continue. Done. Now, if you want to do it for the universal for the next few months, uh, you can. Go back to Google Analytics, go to your account. This is universal data. And here's the old one. So we're going to go to admin, tracking info, tracking code. Here's your ID, your tracking ID. We're going to want to copy that. Go back to Google Tag Manager. Let's add a new one for, for uh, I'm just going to call this UA because I know what that is for my Google Analytics tag configuration. Here, you're going to click Universal. Tracking type is Page View because we're doing it for websites. Um, here, right here, Google Analytics settings. Select settings variable. So you're going to need to create a new variable and you're going to put in the tracking ID. Tracking ID. You click Google Analytics, tracking ID there. Save that. So it's going to do your, you have your tracking ID here and it's going to be triggering once again on all pages. Save, submit, publish, continue, and now you have it set up on both. Go back to your tags, you can see both of your tags. Okay? So that's how you create a Google Analytics account and that's how you add it to Google Tag Manager. I do have a video already for how to install Google Tag Manager on WordPress, so check it out on the channel. Um, and then once that's installed, you'll start seeing all the, the data pop up here in your analytics account. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, write a comment. We'd be happy to help. And, and also subscribe. We're going to be putting out a bunch of videos on how, how we do our digital marketing, which is proven to be very successful, especially for local service companies. But definitely want to make sure you get Google Analytics on your site. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you on the next video.